we're gonna watch Trapped in the Closet. Uh, I love this fucking episode. I, I just, I, it's brilliant. Um, and funny as fuck, too. That's like the thing. It's just really, it's really damn funny. Um, South Park had previously parodied um, uh, and satirized the Church of Scientology a few years earlier, five years earlier, um, in the gauntlet. And watch this, this, cli uh, this clip here from that. So I want us to watch that. I'll pop this in and um, we'll go through a little bit more in a second here. So just watch this clip. This was on the uh, MTV Video Music Awards or whatever in 2000. Hello, Romans. Here we have five very naughty boys from South Park, Colorado. Feed them to the Tigers and their challengers, Maximus and friends. Oi, I'm a Spaniard boy, Craigie. Maximus! 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 Why are they cheering Maximus? Why did they like him and not me? Begin, Josh! Ah! Ah! Oh, you guys, I crapped my pen! Ah! Oh my god, Russell Crowe killed Kenny! Turn it! Oh, it's all hot and sticky, miss. Now let's get the rest. What are we gonna do? We're gonna die! Ah! Whoa, who is that? It's John Travolta and the Church of Scientology! Hey, hey! Ta-da! Wow, thanks, Scientologists. Hey, those problems, you guys. And now you can take these personality tests. Okay. It's those meddling Scientologists again, mate. Let's get them! Join the Church of Scientology! Never! You have to kill me first! Okay. Ah! Ah! Looks like our work here is done. Let's party! Uh, Trapped in the Closet is basically satirizing in a parody of Scientology and the beliefs of Scientologists. Just like um, in The Believers, you know, and I think, you know, uh, which is important <clears throat> in this and how the believers, um, you know, take advantage of the beliefs. Uh, specifically the leadership, right? Um, but basically, yeah, it's, it's you know, just like uh, All About Mormons, they talk about the beliefs and, and they use similar tactics. And I, I think they're probably harsher on the Mormons than they are on the Scientologists, but you'll see it pop up when you watch it. It says, this is what Scientologists really uh, believe. Um, now, there's obviously a huge joke with the closet thing about Tom Cruise. Um, and this was shot before episodes 200 and 201, where they bring in the fudge packing joke. And the reason why, you know, uh, I think it's important to note that Matt and Trey um, would probably see themselves as allies to, um, you know, the queer community. Um, <clears throat> but they fucking hate Tom Cruise. And Tom Cruise has been known for using anytime. Anybody has publicly questioned his sexuality, whether you, you know, think that's okay or, or not, you know, he's used defamation law, he's threatened to sue, harass them, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so they do this joke where he's in, in the closet. They bring in uh, John Travolta, oh my God. Um, and obviously R. Kelly's brought into this. If you haven't seen his 33 episode uh, trap, opera trapped in the closet that's what this is all based upon him singing and it is if you want to i mean r kelly is a piece of shit if you want to see that and suffer through 33 episodes i don't even know how long it is of 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 trapped in the closet it, 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 it's so fucking weird man anyways um but this is just like All About Mormons. It's, there's a lot omitted. It's an embellishment. But it's a basic summary of the beliefs of, of the, you know, of Lord Zenu <clears throat> and the, you know, freezing aliens and capturing their, 
their souls and releasing bad feelings into the world and uh, you know all that's pretty accurate um, but they really talk in question of question the the notion of pain for faith they have a real problem with this um, and this comes up in the, in the in the episode where you know uh, where Stan, who's now the reincarnation of L. Ron Hubbard, um, you know, he's writing new stories, um, you know, and the uh, official from the church is there, and when Stan says, I also wrote that, and you'll see, that people shouldn't have to pay to be a part of this. And he goes, you know, to really be a church, they can't, you know, Stan says, to really be a church, you know, they can't charge money to help. And obviously the, uh, the president or whoever it is, um, you know, it's like, hell, <laughs> no, like, <laughs> and he kind of breaks, breaks down the whole charge, you know, asking, you know, charging people. And it brings up this whole concept of, you know, what's more important, money or the message, the faith. And they make it very apparent in this that from Matt and Trey's perspective in the Church of Scientology, it's about the money. The message and the faith is not important. It's about, it's about the money and how you can profit from the message and the faith and how you can do that by establishing your, your company, um, your franchise, essentially, as a nonprofit. I mean, imagine if McDonald's didn't have to pay taxes. So, um, yeah... And they also go in on, like, the litigious nature of the church. I mean, like I said, this church is known for <sighs> suing, <laughs> using lawsuits, and a pretty powerful legal team to sue critics. Um, and that's a really, really important part uh, of this episode that really, like, really goes in on that that element you know at the end at the end we'll sue you buddy you know we'll sue your ass and your balls um, so that comes up as well now what comes from this is what's called closet gate um, this was another episode that was censored uh, comedy threat central uh has re-aired it but didn't re-air it like they normally do it's available on some dvds um, etc. Actually, I hope it's available on Hulu. I haven't checked, but I will make sure I post a link so that you can watch it um, online somehow. Um, the interesting thing is that Paramount, who is owned by Viacom, Viacom owns Comedy Central, Paramount had signed a deal with Tom Cruise um, for a couple years to distribute the Mission Impossible franchise. Well, Tom Cruise, after the airing of this, basically said he wasn't going to do his promotional tour. He's alleged to have threatened to not do his promotional tour of, to promote Mission Impossible uh, 3. And again, like this is what happens when you have a corporation who can censor its employees that owns Comedy Central, owns Paramount. Paramount was going to you know, distribute Mission Impossible and, and you know, Tom... Tom Cruise you know, has been said to do this before with like, there's a film that Katie Holmes was in that there was a sex scene in it and he used his power to get it edited out. I can't remember what movie it, it, it was. You can see this image here, you know, where Matt and Trey are doing graffiti, you know, on the Church of Scientology. It's obviously fake. Um, and then they released this ad um, you know, again, because Comedy Central wouldn't re-air uh, re this. Come on, Jews, show them who really runs Hollywood. And it's, you know, the boys in front of uh, the, the Celebrity Center. Uh, you know, but it's, uh, you know, trying to get the episode back on. So it was one of those that was, that was censored. So here we have, you know, when we talk about censorship, the only episodes that have been censored are about religion. You know. Displaying the Prophet Muhammad, um, you know, blasphemous portrayals of the um, Virgin Mary, and, and in this instance, uh, Tom Cruise. Now, the other thing, interesting thing about this is that after this episode airs, 
Isaac Hayes, who does the voice of Chef, who'd been with the show for like eight years, um, decides he's leaving the show. And this is his quote. There is a place in this world for satire, but there is uh, a time when satire ends in intolerance and bigotry towards religious beliefs and of others of others, uh, of others begins. Religious beliefs are sacred to people and at all times should be respected and honored. This is what Isaac Hayes says. The interesting thing is that before this episode, they had satirized Christianity, Catholicism, Mormons, Jews, all other types of religions. But, you know, Chef Isaac Hayes got real mad um, when, you know, his belief system was was challenged the next year they do the return of chef chef where chef has left to join um, a group of pedophiles and they kill chef where they basically stitch together a bunch of um isaac hayes or chef quotes from past episodes to say all sorts of crazy shit and he dies at the end and poops and gets eaten uh you know it's just crazy um you know but yeah chef left Isaac Hayes leaves, okay? So let's watch this episode. Just kind of think about, you know, um, non-rational faith or belief in this. Think about, um, you know, how they portray the Church of Scientology and its beliefs, how um, they challenge the authority of the, of the church, um, how they talk about the message of Scientology versus uh, being a for-profit group, and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about cults and blasphemy.